knows who Mandela is? Yes. You know what he did? Um, I know he was imprisoned for his work with apartheid in South Africa. Okay. He eventually became the leader of South Africa after he was released, but he was um, a fighter for the removal of apartheid in South Africa. Okay. Few have the greatest event history, but each of us can work towards a small change in the portion of events. And in total, all these acts will rewrite the history of this generation. Robert F. Kennedy. Nelson Mandela was one of those few people who can bend history. It all started in a small village called Mbezo in South Africa. This is where Nelson Mandela was born. He was born on July 18, 1918. This was a time when South Africa's government was pro-apartheid, which meant that black South Africans were segregated and forced to live in terrible living conditions. Many people were against that, black and white alike, but many people were afraid to act out against the government. However, Nelson Mandela was not afraid to stand up, even if it meant getting arrested. For the sake of the future of his country and his children, Nelson Mandela protested against the racist government. It worked for a little while, but not everybody was willing to listen, especially the government. In 1962, Nelson Mandela got arrested for conspiring to overthrow the government, but this time he was sentenced to 27 years in prison, a life sentence. He spent 18 of those years on Robert Island. He spent the rest of those years in Pelsmore Prison and Victor Verster Prison. This caused him to miss out on his children's childhoods and all of their teenage years. However, Nelson Mandela wasn't one to give up, and after he was released from prison, Mandela continued to fight for his rights and the rights of other black South Africans. Frederick Willem de Klerk, the man who released Mandela from prison, continued to release anti-apartheid supporters from prison and legalize banned anti-apartheid parties. F.W. de Klerk was a president of South Africa who was against apartheid, like Nelson Mandela. This is what led F.W. de Klerk to free Nelson Mandela from prison. Later, F.W. de Klerk became the first deputy president to Nelson Mandela. In 1990, negotiations to end apartheid began. Negotiations finally ended apartheid in South Africa in 1993. Then in the year 1994, Nelson Mandela became the first black president of South Africa. Man's goodness is a flame that can be hidden but never extinguished. Nelson Mandela.